So we calculated a mass percent composition at the beginning of the previous section with the mass of chromium that combined and the total mass of the compound. And that's one way to calculate a percent composition. Um, that's how it would be done if you don't know what the formula for the compound is. If you know the formula for the compound, you can actually calculate the percent composition without getting your hands wet or dirty in the laboratory. You can just do it with a periodic table and a calculator. So looking at the formula for the compound, we can calculate the mass percent of element X. We need the mass of element X and the mass of the compound, but here there's no sample. And so what we do is we decide on the sample size. We're just going to pick a sample size. One mole is a convenient sample size. So we're just going to choose one mole. Then we're going to figure out the mass of element X that's in one mole. And then we're going to figure out the mass of one mole of the entire compound. So acetic acid, that's the active ingredient in vinegar. And we're asked to calculate the mass percent composition of oxygen in acetic acid. The reason these problems are saying O here instead of oxygen is be to avoid some confusion. Um, oxygen is a diatomic element. And when you have oxygen all by itself, it does form a molecule with the formula O2. But when oxygen in is in a compound, we don't need to consider that. And so by telling you the formula O, we're trying to point out, we're just looking at O. We're not trying to find mass of O2. So here's our chemical formula for the compound. What we want to do is find out the mass of one mole of that. That's the molar mass. So one mole of HC2H3O2 is going to equal, now there is hydrogen here and there's hydrogen there. If you want to combine those into one group for the purposes of calculating the molar mass, you can certainly do that. It is written, the H is written here um, separate from those for a reason, because it's an acid. I'm just going to do it as it's written. So there's one, one hydrogen. And then, that was really small. Well, hydrogen is very small. And then there's two carbons. And then there's three more hydrogens. And then there's two oxygens. So we have to add all that up. Sixty That's the mass of one mole of acetic acid. So we're trying to calculate the percent oxygen in acetic acid. So we're looking for grams of O divided by grams of HC2H3O2 times 100 to make it a percentage. This is the mass of one mole of the entire compound. So that's going to go in the denominator. What's the mass of oxygen that's present in one mole? 32. It's actually sitting right up there. If you write out your calculation, you can just go in there and pick it out. That's the mass of oxygen. 2 times 16 is 32 grams of oxygen. So we've got 32 grams of oxygen. And we're going to multiply by 100%. 32 divided by 60.052 times 100. Um, four sig figs this time. 
53.29%. That's the percentage of oxygen in acetic acid. Any questions? You should work towards understanding how and why these calculations work rather than just trying to memorize them. It takes a little more effort up front, but you'll remember it a lot longer. And then when you get to an exam and your mind goes blank, you can reason it out. <coughs> Lost. There we go.